Midday, the Sue Solo way on Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. Today, 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 we are talking to this man who has literally, in my opinion, the number one work record in the world. Oh, say it again. And, and I'm going to say it again. The number one record in the world. Yeah. It is so diverse. I think it speaks to where music is going and yeah. where your career has gone. What's but that? we're talking to Tusi. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Give the people your intro. What, what's that thing you were saying? Yeah, yesterday? know what it is. It's the big step of the well-known flex. <laughs> That's good, Sue. So. All right, so the first time I had a one-on-one with Tusi, this was back in 2021. Yeah. You were coming off of the Poetic Pain album, which came yes, out ma'am. in 2020. Yeah. This was during COVID. Yeah. A lot of artists were not working. No. Basically, the world had shut down. Tusi was. Tusi was working. Yeah. Kadife was working. Come on, Flip now. was working. They was working. And I was working, too. I had yeah, to come outside come and talk to you. Sue was here. What is going on? What is the difference between Tusi in 2020 and Tusi in 2023? That money. I mean, it's more than the nah, money. I'm playing, I'm playing. The journey that, to the money. Listen, um, we we in a much better position now, and outside of us being in a much better position, um, you know, we just, you know, the team has grown, and outside of the team growing, you know, everything just other than that, the the, the work ethic still been the same, man. We still put in, we still out here doing the groundwork. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, we see we here right now. Doing it all over again like it's 2021. So what's up? How do you get to a favorite song record? <sighs> Man, I wish I had the answers. I'll do it again. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now we gonna do it again for sure. Uh, but I, honestly, I think you know uh, it's about having tunnel vision. Um, I knew the record was big the moment I recorded it and I heard it. Uh, I believed in it. I had faith in it, and I think that's the biggest thing with all artists. I think the artists need to believe in the work that they put out. Uh, and I stuck behind it. So, out of all of your bodies of work so far, by far my favorite. By far, yeah, by the far. entire project. Yeah, 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 by far, by far my my whole album, Najur, the whole album, by far my favorite. Now, people don't know Najur is actually your name. Yes. Okay. Do you know what the name means? Because I feel like there's some poetic. Yeah, it means love and friendship. Love and friendship. Yeah, okay. Love and friendship. Five hundred and seventy million global streams. I'm yeah. sure it's more by now. Yeah, I mean, something like that. Probably like a few million more since I got this this one yeah, sheet I mean, this morning. Yeah, it's, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, possibly. So we hear like a little bit of a country twang in favorite song. Yeah. The kids love it. Yes, they do. A divert like. Foreign people love it. Black yeah. people love it. White people love it. Yeah. Why do you think the record is so diverse? Um, I feel like it's exactly what was missing um, in 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 this year's music. Uh, I feel like, you know, people just needed something diverse to fill them up with a little bit of love and make them feel special. You know, so Tusi came through with that. Mm-hmm. No yeah. curse words. No curse words. The kids love it. Until we got to the remix with Future. <sighs> Future, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that guy. Yeah, that guy, man. Shout out to Future, man. Shout out to Pluto. Yeah, Pluto Pluto got a little dirty on the song. You have another version with Khalid? Yeah, that one clean. I think that just, like, takes you, like... Everywhere. Full-blown into yeah. the R&B world, yeah. into real music lovers, because yeah. I think what it does is it makes people see you outside of hip-hop. Yeah, man. People want to put you in a box, maybe because of what they feel you yeah. should be as a black man with tattoos, yeah. come from the trenches of New York. Right, right Like, right. people want to put you in a box, but you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing that. You can't do it, man. I'm, a, I'm my own person. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to give you that mix between, you know, the trenches and, you know, that lover boy. You know, so... Um, now, yours is a vulnerable album. Yes, What else is. can we look forward to in the album? Um, just talks about, you know, my, my walk and journey through life, uh, how I got here today, what steps I took, um, who I am as a person, and, you know, a little bit of turn up, you know. Do you talk about being in love? Yeah, a little bit, all the time. You know, Tusi always talk about being in love. Talk about your family. Yeah, I talk about the family. Talk about the, the people that don't want to respect your relationship, but you respect your relationship. Come on, now. We talk about everything.